Hey guys, Jacob here. It is the 21st of December 2021. This is going to be this week's vendor set. At the front desk vendor this week, they're selling the Pyromaniac. This is the perfectly ignited M4. If you guys do not have this and you're using pretty much fire a lot, I would recommend grabbing this or using this talent in general. I'm going to scroll through a few more of these items in case you guys want to pick any of this stuff up. They are selling max status effects if you guys need that for chess pieces. But other than that, that's going to be about it for the front desk. Now, if you go under the helipad and go to these white doors, you'll see clan quarters. Shout out Disciples of Doom and Kamikaze Von Doom. And you guys will see the clan vendor right here. This week, he's selling the Tsunami Shotgun. In my opinion, this shotgun is not the best due to the fact it has two mod slots. And you pretty much luck out on a good amount of damage what you can get from a Super 90. But if you guys need it, would highly recommend grabbing it, especially if you're collecting the named items. I'm going to scroll through a few more of these in case you guys want to pick any of this stuff up. They are selling damage to armor if you guys need that for a pistol build. But other than that, nothing really too crazy. Um, two items I am going to point out is going to be this Raleigh's Holding Backpack. If you guys are trying to make a sniper build, you could max this out and make it work. And also if you're new and trying to make a critical hit build or a temporary build for critical hit, I know a lot of people don't really use Seska because it's just 10% critical hit chance. Um, but if you're new and just trying to get an all red build to make it work while you can, you could use this piece. Next location is going to be the theater settlement. Usually I cut right here, um, but you guys will see that the Series X loads so fast, there really is no reason to cut the video. <laughs> uh, but this is the theater settlement. This week he's selling the mop. If you guys don't have this one, highly recommend picking it up. And it also has Optimus on it, which... You know, for damage-wise, it's pretty decent on just finding this at the vendor. Sometimes they come with close to personal, and sometimes they just come with talents that you don't really want to use at all. So, you could make this one work, and you also, you also could take off Optimus, because Armor on Kill is on here, uh, which is what's unique about the mob. And shotgun damage is pretty high on this, and the damage to armor is around, you know, average, I guess. Uh, and you can't optimize that, but if you don't have it, highly recommend grabbing it. But other than that, that's all that's for sale really at the theater settlement. Next up is going to be the open world settlement campus. And sadly, there are only um, these two plus the main vendors at the base. Uh, I don't know why Division 1 used to have tons of vendors out in the open world. But in this game, they decided to only give us three. And plus the snitch if you count him. So I guess you could that'd be four vendors total if you count the snitch. But this is the Campus Summit. They're selling the Quiet Roar LMG. If you guys do not have it, recommend grabbing it so you at least have it. Um, at the same time, you probably could farm and find better ones than these. Max Headshot Damage if you guys need that for your snipers. And Max Critical Hit Chance for LMGs if you guys need that also. But other than that, that's going to be about it for the Campus Summit. Next up is going to be the Dark Zones. First one is going to be the DZ West main entrance. Keep this in mind, you guys need different currency to buy the items here, which are the resources which you can get from extracting or deconstructing gear in the DZ and extracting it and opening tiny little boxes and getting the currency that way. But this week they're selling the Virginian lever action rifle. If you don't have it, recommend grabbing it. This one is pretty low on the critical hit damage, but if you want to roll the critical hit chance for something else, then you can just optimize one stat and you're good to go. But overall, that's really about it for DZ West. Um, nothing else worth picking up, in my opinion, unless you really, really need it. Next is going to be DZ South. And it's a shame that we don't have vendors at each you know, checkpoint like we did in Div 1 so we can get tons of more loot. But it is what it is. And this week, they're selling the Safety Distance with Perfect Outsider. If you guys do not have this, I recommend grabbing it as well. At the same time, it is not an apartment, so don't expect it to be an apartment. Uh, but this is a pretty fun talent to mess with. So if you guys don't have it, would recommend grabbing it. And just so if you're a collector and you want to have all the items, then definitely worth picking up in my opinion. But other than that, you're nothing really too crazy. Sadly, this Yalgir chest piece, if it would have had critical hit chance on it, this would have been awesome to pick up. But obviously it does not. In the final DZ, as for now, unless they add another one in the future in another location, um, or in a future DLC, 
but this is going to be the last one. This one does take the longest to run to. You can go to the door, but sometimes it just takes a second for the door to load, even on the Series X. So I just tend to run up here because it's just way easier. And it's a force of habit. But this week there's some of the Commando. Nothing too crazy about it. Pretty average rolls. I know you guys have a lot of these. They are selling max health if you guys want that. Health, in my opinion, is pretty useless. I know some people found ways to use it now and then, but for me... It will never be the, the you know the toughness of Division One, but that's about it for all the DC vendors. Next up is going to be New York. So if you don't have the New York expansion, that is going to be the vendors for you guys. But if you have the New York expansion, then there are two more vendors in Haven you guys can go to. Also, it's a shame that we don't have any vendors actually inside the DC themselves, um, like the original secret vendor we had, but he is no longer there. And this week, they're selling pretty much all basic stuff. As you guys know, they don't sell any named items. But if you guys need any of it, I would recommend grabbing any of this stuff if you need the rolls or need any of the talents on it. If you guys go through the atrium right here, take a left. Then go right. Roy Benitez will be right here. And this week, he's not really selling anything too special either. But if you guys need any of this stuff, I would recommend grabbing it. Or if you need any of the talents. Uh, but overall, that's really going to be about it. Nothing too crazy for sale this week. But if you guys need pretty much any of the items they're selling, then I would recommend grabbing them. But as usual, thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. BT!